We are in the thick of it, brother. Winner's quarterfinals are going to be underway in just a second. And this is where dreams are... between these two players, Kowalski 23 versus Sakai Dago. And it's gonna be Brazil versus Chile. Sakai Dago from Chile rocking the duck hunt. And Kowalski rocking a Steve. This is gonna be an interesting match. I don't think anyone on earth has ever seen this matchup before. For good reason. Um, yeah, so we have. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, so, so obviously, you know, Steve, one of the most punishing characters in this game. Definitely can control the pace of the match if you are not ready to deal with the shenanigans. But the straight shot from the wild gunman gonna just take him out. Well, not take him out, but you know, just get the damage beneath the block. Really good stuff. I think it's gonna show really good matchup knowledge for Senkai, uh, Sekai Doggo to, you know, try to fight Kowalski's block uh, pattern. So if, if you can just make sure that Steve can't really set up as much as they need to, Oh, that sucks. Then you can be in a really good position, but what it's looking like, I think Kowalski might be the driver's seat later. Yeah, here's the big thing about playing against Steve whenever you're a zoner. You need to figure out what options you can use to work around block, but you also need to figure out how you can keep hitting Steve to make sure that they can't get the tools that they want and need in order to survive. Now, having gold is a devastating thing if, on top of having iron because you get those powered up minecart rails. Having diamond on deck is always a good thing as well. And uh, we're probably starting to see Sakai Doggo DI those up tilt strings incredibly well by getting away from them. Here's the issue though, right now, uh, Sakai Doggo only has that sword left. He doesn't have a pickaxe or an axe anymore. I mean, really all he has to do is just get to the uh, crafting table and I think he will be fine. He wanted the forest smash, not gonna get it yet. And you're right, he only has a, a wooden sword, which is not gonna do you much good in these scenarios. And you're right, no pickaxe, so he can't really deal with <gasps> big... Oh my God, wow, how'd that not just... land the up smash? Just not barely gonna land. That's incredible. No, I think Sakai Doggo mixed up their uh, mashing in the minecart, so they didn't pop out in time to get hit by that. They drifted a little bit further away while Koloski was already committed to that up smash, so they were able to survive. Really good on the nose play from them. Oh no, the block's gonna save <laughs> Kowalski on that one too. And again, hey, it happens again, bro. Who need? Who fears me? Have a block, and so far Kowalski not able to get anything. It's not gonna mine. He, he it's not gonna go to the crafting table. He has a he's not right probably there. because he's, he's like die. almost dead on this stock. I, I think right now he's just trying to like oh, survive, keep materials. his keep his tools, keep his gold and everything. He playing on survival mode IRL, bro. That's insane. He said, you know, okay, well, wait, so okay, I'm he went to it. it. Maybe yeah, it was a bait. Was like, you know, maybe it was. Maybe you know, maybe think okay, make uh, make said kind of think. Oh, oh there you go. Uh, and not yeah, he didn't end up taking that, and now he's gonna go for it. Now the man has full armor, full diamond, full bling on him. Even that Louis Beast, so he's gonna be getting a lot more materials on him. Look at that. Yeah, I think the big thing right now is that you need to keep this guy in the corner. And the really difficult thing about this matchup as a whole, as you can see, is that that minecart has so few options to be contested by Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt needs to work at a very specific trajectory in order to hit Steve in the face other than the minecart. And the I forward still not going to survive 40% off of that one combo. No, that was incredibly dangerous. Getting hit by that Steve combo, especially when you have full diamonds, is absolutely scary. 69% taken to Doggo already on his last stop. Kowalski kind of just relaxing right now. Doesn't have to overturn because of one two. Really, all he could do is just play this slow game, and we saw that forward smash come up. That would have definitely taken the stock. If you don't know Steve, we'll tell you one thing. Steve oh. the Diamond is absolutely a menace to society, and as you can see, that is why. That was relatively early, not even near the ledge. That was like, it was mid-stage, but definitely near the ledge, and that ended up killing him mad early. There was no chance of him getting out of that, so good stuff coming on to uh, Sedkot. No, no, I'm sorry, Kowalski, but I'll take game number one. If you whip anything against Steve while they have diamond or gold with iron, be prepared to take a hell of a hit. Because you got that F smash, uh, you got those up tilt combos at low percent. You obviously have minecart, which is one of the best first options in the game. It is pretty much uncontestable unless you very, very much know how to hit Steve in the head while they're in there. And man, we're on a smaller stage right now. Small battlefield is going to be the play here for Sakai Doggo. I kind of like the stage a little bit. You have to platform to actually maneuver around a little bit too. But that also means that Steve can very easily shark underneath those by putting up two blocks and uh, corralling themselves into the corner. But right now, I really like the clay fidget usage here for Sakai. And you, you know he wanted to go for a lot more with the clay pigeons also a good 70%. Bladder coming on from Kowalski. One thing Steve is so good at. I love how they just made this character so... They made this Minecraft character so different than anything we've ever seen before. 
But the other yeah. thing going on from Gaga, I mean, they're, we're seeing a different game, right? A lot slower. Don't want to give Seize the materials to make anything happen. There's another one. But for the what down and into up smash, no, we saw it, but it's, it just didn't come to happen. Now, Steve disadvantage, while not the worst in the game, is pretty scary for Steve, just based off oh. of one soul factor, Arbiter. It's because Steve has no hurt box shifting whenever they get hit. The way they're standing right now is the way they will always stand unless they're in a minecart or if they are asleep. Yep. So basically, so all come, but it's so easy to hit them. No, it makes it really good for getting these combos right. And we can see that, you know, um, Doggo wants to go for these clay pigeon setups, right? We know that they're able to do so. They're really smart with the Don't jump. Don't jump. Okay. He did. I'm telling you guys, if you fight Steve, do not jump from ledge. Especially if they have diamond. That is a setup. It is a bait. It is a trick. The devil is a liar on this Sunday. Please do not do it. It's not good. I'm gonna go for that up the escape option. I like it. There's the dirt blocks. Goes for the clay pigeon. Luckily, armor didn't save him there. Went for the jab for the setup. I like the. I, I like when he was thinking right. Go for the jab. The gunman will get the shot. I think that fat one has the strongest shot, if I'm not mistaken. I know they have yeah, different properties. I'm not sure which one is which because they all look the same. They, not, 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 not the same. They all function kind of differently, but they have different attributes. Right, yeah, one of them fires faster than the rest of them, one of them has a pretty neutral shot, one of them covers the longest range, that sort of thing, yeah. Um, yeah. But I will I'm say right, right now, now, again, the combo game from Sakai has been the big thing keeping them in this match. Actually, on top of everything, they've been doing a good job of catching Kowalski whenever they approach with Minecart. They've been doing a good job of actually confirming into their blocks, and also just having block present and uh, in, in between them and Kowalski is a big deal. The thing is, whenever Kowalski gets in at all, they can just tear uh, Sakai Duggo apart. Yeah, it's really strong. And I'm liking the small little adjustments we're seeing coming on from uh, just Sekai, you know. He was, he was kind of rushing the last Whoa. game. Kind of had his back foot, you know, at the door. But now that he's in the lead, I love that destroying the mine card or the card table. But <laughs> hot take, hot Steve take. You should be able to, you should have to build your crafting table before you can do anything else. Just, just a hot take. True. Hot take for me. But. There is going to be the dash I mean, it does use materials whenever you spawn a new one. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess you're right. But you should be able to make it, you know. Uh, yeah. It, it, should, it should cost a lot more. That's all I'm saying. But, Word. Harry. Whoa! Oh, that look was so at that! The Electra. That was so strange. Yeah. It ended up working. Oh, wow. Use the Electra to oh, up beat into the uh, can. It, it, it's a Kai. What a roll rate on that platform, Arbiter. Forward air to take that stock. They're at 69%, but they got full iron, have a piece of gold handy, and they also have full diamond tools. Yeah, they got some bling on them, so this is definitely not undoable, right? I love it using the anvil just to land faster versus duck cut. You don't want to give them time to, you know, set up that clay pigeon, set up the can, get the wild gunmans out. But now we're seeing Kowalski in the air, kind of on the back pedal now. There's a wild gunman. My man has no hair on his head. He needs some bonsai expeditiously. Oh, there's a can again. Can just trying to get some materials. He does have a diamond pickaxe, so he will get the best that the stage has to offer. But Sekai has to be careful because Steve does so much damage if you're not careful. Has him near the back ropes, too. It's going to be a back here. Here's that dash attack. Down tilt for the yeah, can. I honestly, like right now, Sekai's playing a little bit too passively. Uh, they've been mining like way too much as well. I, I think, frankly, they, they should focus more on dealing damage. They don't have diamond uh, pickaxe anymore, and the materials are starting to wane. And yeah, jumping on them. Kowalski is going to get caught by a clay pigeon into a back air. And that's going to be an even no, set was... count. Sakai evening things up. You cannot give him time to set up for anything. And I love the fact that he just knew, I got to go for this attack. I got to go for this setup. If I don't, then I'm screwed. You do not want to give any time for Steve to get anything started. And I think Duck Hunt and most zoners do struggle-ish with um, dealing with Steve because, you know, if you're a rushdown character, then yeah, sure, it's kind of relatively easy to just, you know, make sure you can't get anything started. But if you're playing a zoner like Duck Hunt Dog, then you might be in a bit of trouble when it comes to trying to get that setup happening or stop him from getting that setup happening. Yeah, but really good stage pick, I think, for uh, Sakai Doggo. Taking, taking Kowalski to a smaller pick and saying, you know, I'm just going to make sure that you can't run away from me if you want to. I'm going to keep you close. I'm going to get my combos active. But... We're going to be seeing very much the opposite of that now, Arbiter. We're going to be going to Town and City, which is the longest stage in the game.
but those short horizontal blast zones are going to make it much easier for Steve to kill with those F smashes, those back airs, as well as with that powered up mine card. Exactly. And you, dude, if you gave Steve Diamond on this stage, dog, you are going to be dying at around, eh, like, let's just say 50%. Sounds fair, right? So, whatever you can do to stop yeah. him from getting anything set up, you gotta do it. You gotta take that into consideration. And Duck Hunt, I'm not sure what they can do on this stage, right? Clay Pigeon combos are definitely, um, they can work, but going for those downers, you can do, like, Clay Pigeon into Clay Pigeon into a down air. Even a forwarder or a back like you saw uh, get the kill during that last game. It can work, but I think you're gonna have a harder time kind of functioning on this stage for sure. Yeah, and another thing is, is two thirds of the time that you're on the stage, you're not gonna have access to platforms over the middle of the stage. So these combos are gonna be a lot harder to get unless you can catch them on that platform, no which way. Sakai was about to do, but that F smash from the other side of the stage is not gonna be sending just far enough to kill. And right now it's a pretty even oh. game here, but the diamonds are active and there's a lot of iron in the back pocket of Kowalski right now. I'm sorry, I gotta say, I love that mix-up he did, right? He shot the cl the can forward, but added some little bounce to it. That way you can't predict where the, uh, you know, it's gonna go. So, like a little mix-up he did. Go show you just how smart that Sekai Doggo is right now, right? They didn't, they didn't just get here by pure luck. and let me know they have a brain. They are able to think outside of the box and get everything they need to for the butt. This box that is Steve on town is gonna be very deadly. That was really good. DI gonna live that back here. It was from across the stage, but hey, man, I'm not complaining. Ooh, and out of diamond, uh, the diamond oh. axe would be very useful. Thank God Duncan has some... Re he can go low. That character can go really low if he needs to. Ah, he just couldn't hold it any longer. That's unfortunate. The up smash is going to take that stock and clip him. Oh, thank the Lord. The clay pushing was yeah. there, but... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Let's see, he a really good trade. Yeah, a really good that trade there in favor clean. of Sakai. Dude, it resulted in, in a Steve combo for 69. I'm, I'm telling you, dude, this character has some scary things active. And another thing about this stage that you might not consider is that to mine, you don't use your pickaxe because the stage is wood-based. You actually use your axe. So those aerial combos might not be possible later on, especially if you mine too much. And there is a TNT into down smash on the platform on the side of the stage. It's going to be setting off the top. I think a bit of a DI mix-up from where Sakai got hit. And... To be sending the other direction right now, Sakai on their last stock of this match. I gotta say, I love the little bits of like I, I, I view this match as like sort of like a game of like you know magic, right? It's, you're all, you don't want to you don't want to show your hand too early, right? So you're always pulling out some stocks right when you need to. You don't want to reveal what's up your sleeve. Ooh, that you better believe Dude. that will do it. And if you don't think that four smash will do it, you are on some kinds of drugs. That four smash is so strong. My man was at like a hundred percent near the Blasphemous Town. You better believe my man's is gone. But this is a best of five, luckily. So there is going to be a lot more changes for Sekai Doggo to make this comeback happen. But Kowalski is going to be in the lead with Steve. I I'm telling you, dude, Steve has so many interesting tricks that it makes his character low-key fun to watch sometimes. Duck Hunt Dog sometimes. has some tricks as well. It's just that I think the blocks just make it really hard for Duck Hunt to get anything sort of right. You know, those blocks, they stop you from using your clay pigeon. Your clay pigeon. It stops you from having that gunman out. Like, that gunman was like, bro, there was a wall in my way. What, 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 what am I supposed to do here? And the can yeah. can work, but I don't know, man. I think Steve just has a lot more uh, tips up his sleeve. Yeah, it, it's interesting. Sometimes certain projectiles damage blocks. Sometimes they don't. So, I don't know. It, it really depends. I think, like, the particle effects and the explosion of, or of the uh, can can sometimes break it. But still, I mean, blocks borderline uncontestable for these projectiles. Don't quote me on this, but I think if it's... Uh... I think physical projectiles don't break the blocks. I'm, I'm probably wrong about this. Um, I wonder, so I'll just say this. I wonder if you have to have like a particle projectile for it to break a block or not. Um, I mean, because I've seen like, I've seen like Wolf Laser do it. Like Sa yeah. Samus Charge Shot does, but like super that's, missiles that's don't. That's so Ooh, yeah, it doesn't. What? I don't this think so. Bad. That's what oh, I'm saying, dog. Oh, I'm forward to get that fight. Yeah, Don't man, Steve active is as well. just so deadly. And I want to say this too. I like the little trick he did, right? Near the ledge, had the block, used the mine card, but sent it in the opposite direction of the block. That way, the little mix up. Ooh, we've got a combo off that. That would have been so good. 
I'm not going for the Cactus Table because he knows if I die, I'll lose all, on all those materials. So I'm going to stick with the stone. Is that stone or is that iron? Kind of it's stone. See, but not there. It's stone. Okay, yeah, just making sure. Iron has a little bit yeah. of a white color. It's more of a gray color. So I'm going to keep right. mining. Gets hit by the can. Yikes, 145%. Gets another hit. Woo! But now you know what time it is. It is diamond time, baby. Yep. All right. Okay, yeah. I want to talk about the kill for a second, damage. Arbiter, because... Um, that can was used to intercept an Electra going in towards the stage, and it caught Kowalski on a DI in when he really should have been DIing out to survive longer. So he died a lot earlier to that than he probably should have. But right now, he is entrenched underneath that platform with blocks to cover him, and I was able to catch Sakai with a forward smash whenever they came in. And since then, 30 more percent plus has been dealt to Sakai. But now their combos are starting to go a little bit. They're going to go underneath all those iron options. Doing a good job setting up the gunman. And now the percentage is a little bit more even than it was two seconds ago. I mean, you can see the Twitch chat, you know, spam this. <laughs> spam this, oh my dog. Spam the doggo to help out doggo. So, yeah, man, you got to help out. And I think the Twitch chat might be helping a little bit. But still, your boy Quaff is saying, I don't give a damn. I'm a penguin. I'm going to go for that down smash. You're not going to get berries of the can. <laughs> If you get that reference here, Chad, can't come out yet. Dude, again. analysis, baby. Dude, I'm telling you, Madagascar uh, 4 is never happening now. If you know, you know. Wild <laughs> oh! That's so fortunate. Kowalski has no materials right now, Arbiter. He's got the diamond in the yeah, pocket. So He's got one stone. Backer not going to connect the second nice. one. It, it is Oh, dude, not going to kill just yet. Great DI from Kowalski. F-Tilt still not going to do it. What's it going to take to put this guy away? Yeah, you got a soul oh, it right is. now. Will that do it? No. Oh, yeah! Really nice combo. Nice throw. Really good poise to keep that can moving at the perfect trajectory. And those blocks being put up, those ones are actually iron. So he's using iron to entrench himself a little bit. And right now, we're seeing our man Kowalski struggling against this onslaught of bullet hell coming in from Sakai. He's low-key putting himself in his own little prison, right? He has no time to dig for materials. I love the awareness, right? He knows. A lot of Steve's, I'll love to put a block there and charge up force match because that will reach. But Sekai Doggo, not going to fall for it one bit. He does have diamonds still, but no materials like you said. So I just love how smart Sekai is. So what are you doing? I was, I was commenting you, dude. Do not let him get any materials, man. Okay. Going for the diamond sword. Good stuff. There's a clay pigeon. I'm going to run up on him. Has the minecart going for more materials. Look at this suffocation, this fireworks, this war that your boy Sekai Dog is putting on, giving Kowalski no time to breathe. But that back oh. will definitely do it. Gonna have a lot more breathing room. There's the pickaxe now. He's gonna be getting a lot more better materials. But now he has the can. Gonna suffocate him. 120%. What's the play here, Larry? What can Kowalski do to make this comeback happen? What Kowalski needs to do is they need to get the uh, proper amount of materials on their deck in their back pocket right now. You see them refreshing their diamonds pretty frequently, which is really good. They don't want to run out. And now we see those up tilt combos. Not going to get any more. Only 40%. Really good DI to survive there from Sakai Doggo. The big thing that Sakai needs to do, though, is they need to keep holding center the way they have been. The thing is they are pushing Kowalski into the corner, not allowing them to be on the ground, not allowing them to mine, and they're giving them no time to get the materials they need. Right now they're starved. They have one iron in their pocket and some gold and that is it she has a, just a dream right now if they want to win this set right now yeah but really all you need is a good forward smash at the right place at the right time or if you can get a yeah. good minecart set up and steam going for these back ears he really wants it he knows that's his win condition right now another bald head man trying to get these materials but unlike that, steve yes. duncan has no limits when it comes to getting these projectile setups and there he is gonna finally get the can explosion Twitch chat seems to be working out for Sekai Doggo, but guys, you need to be cheering a little bit more because we are going to be going on Kowalski's counter pick right now. This is going to be the yes. final game of the set. Uh -oh. Game five between these two strong. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What, what we got? What we got? What we got? Cave? Make it a. What was it? It was like, okay. Ah, fine. I'll take it. I'll all take right. It. We got some, we got some vanilla. Oh, we got some vanilla on. music here. We hear that song all the time. Come on! Oh my god. So the mid-set fist bump coming in from uh, Sekai. So we're going to be going to North Cave, as we uh, previously mentioned here. This is an FD center with side platforms. So honestly, I think this is pretty good for Steve. The thing is, we've been seeing Sekai get a lot off of platforms being on the center part of the stage. And right now, they don't have access to any of those. The, the only ones that are active are on the side. So 
it's going to be much more difficult to hold center against Steve in this matchup. Exactly. And I, I think Duck Hunt does struggle a bit during the beginning start phases of the game, right? It, it, I, I find Steve really interesting, right? Because if, if, if Steve doesn't get what he needs for the whole game, and if you play the matchup correctly, he kind of suffers through the whole bit, right? So if, if yeah. Steve loses materials during this whole game, right? Like any part of this game, if he Ooh. loses materials, I think we could end up seeing Sekai taking it because he knows, okay, if you don't have anything, I'll just suffocate you, not give you any time to build any, uh, you know, build a what up for anything. But like I said, now this mid early game, right? Steve is going to be chilling, right? They, it gives him more time to get what he's looking for. But oh my right. god, I love the tricks that Sekai Doggo has up their sleeves. <gasps> They're so smart. Oh my god. We, we saw it too. You saw, oh, oh, okay, not gonna get it. Dude, man, game. I am loving the can geometry in this matchup from Sekai. Doing a good job of getting over top of those blocks and then just leaving it there. Just guy. saying, okay, out. it's behind yep. you now. If I get one hit on you, you're gonna get knocked into this thing, baby. And look at that, catching the high jump too from the ledge. Sekai, entrenched on center, doing a good job of making this work. Ooh, ooh. That was so smart, though. I love that. Ooh, but the oh, but the parry, okay, Daigo. Yeah, you had to parry that. Thank God, the can coming in clutch. Oh, if dude. nobody got you, I know Campbell's got you. Can I get an A-man from somebody, anybody? Four tilt, good stuff. I saw that one coming. Did he die to that? Yes, he did. He did, yeah. And now, look at that little dash dance. Let's go, Sekai. But I got to deal with the fact that he's Diamond Steve right now. He does got that bling on him. Going to shield that minecart. Not going to fall for it. I love how smart Sekai is. Look at that angle, but look at that angle as my man gets long swords to blast zone from coast to coast with that minecart layer. Dude, I love that bait too. Broke that bottom block because they recognized that Kowalski was gonna panic because they knew Sakai was gonna go underneath it. Uh, Sakai hung out underneath the blocks and then caught uh, Kowalski jumping over them themselves, using Steve's block against them. Got a really nice 70% little string there. But again, all it takes is a couple hits and Steve does that much damage and more back. Exactly, man. And I think if, if Steve can get, not even done right now. Oh, okay, now you, you gotta do something. Look! That, so was, that, was, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. It didn't lead up to anything, but we saw the vision. That's all that matters. So, sometimes you don't even got to see the vision come through. You just got to see what the vision is going to look like. There's oh, the can. So nice, you thought too. you were safe, but you are not, buddy boy. But still, gotta watch out, man. You're still fighting an amped up Steve right now. He still has all the materials he needs. He wants that back here. There's the neutral air. There's the can. Watch out for that minecart, buddy boy. Yeah, okay. I, not, I like, like that jump over top of it, using up the gunman. And again, those cans have been the clutch factor in this matchup. Look at that interception, too, to catch a jump out of minecart. Not going to kill yet. Great DI. Is that one going to kill you? It is. The triple threat can coming in clutch. Hey, Laird, I look at the materials that my boy Kowalski has. He's looking a little, and his pocket's looking a little dry right now. So there's minecart. That's even more materials, homeboy. Trying to run away. But Sekai Doggo saying, like a wild gum and like a sheriff, we're not going anywhere. So I'm trying to see... Can he have enough time to go to the materials he needs, right? He's not even getting an electric. Oh, here we go. Another one, there's an up air and build. Doesn't want to waste some up. Yep. Never mind, he ends up doing so. Yep. Oh my god, caught him on top of the block as well. Another can. Another one too, but a forward is gonna beat it. Nice shield though, it just in time for Kowalski. Kowalski now trying to fight the way back on stage. They got no iron to their name. F smash at leg, and that's gonna kill the pop up of Sakai Doggo. A really nice set going to game five, winning on Kowalski's own counter pick. That was so well played from both of those players, actually. I loved watching that set. You know, usually, usually uh, some ultimate players will be like, oh my god, it's Dunk Cunt, it's Steve. Uh, Even no. I was like, this could be a slow set, right? I'm ready for a really slow set. No, that was really hard fought. Everything about that set was just calculated. Okay, I know how your character works. I know how yours works. So let me go ahead, show them what's under my sleeve, show some magic, right? Um, we saw a lot of amazing angles coming on from uh, Sekai Doggo. Kowalski just knew how to manage materials. It's just that it's unfortunate because Duck Hunt is able to kind of suffocate you from getting what you need to get started because of the clay pigeon, because the wild gummen are always on you, because of the can, right? So you don't have a lot of time to build much for uh, Steve. But that was.